My name is Kumar Swaminathan. I am from Los Angeles. Um, I am a vice president of uh, sales from a, for a healthcare technology company out of Boston. So, um, <clears throat> who is Swamiji to me? <clears throat> In 2007, that's when I was first introduced to Swamiji by my wife. At that time, I came to know him as a proficient writer in a Tamil magazine, and I just glanced through it, and it was pretty interesting at that time, so I put it down. And then the first time I actually met him face to face was when he was giving the Bhagavad Gita discourse at the uh, Malibu temple. And someone who has never even cared about Bhagavad Gita in, in, the, in my life before then, I actually sat through the whole uh, discourse and listened to it, um, feeling something different inside me. And since then, um, I started going to um, the Duarte Ashram and then the, uh, the LA temple. And at the time, so many people that I came across both at both of those places um, described him to me in so many different forms. Uh, yeah, reincarnation, an avatar, an avatar of Purusha, a uh, yeah, divine being, God, and all that. You see, growing up in India, I was part of an organization that was totally against God, um, anything spirituality. <clears throat> so with that context, with that space, I couldn't understand or make any sense out of all those terminology about somebody. And at least I was not stupid enough at that time to reject any idea that I did not understand at that time. So I had enough sense to continue the, my query and inquiry about what this is all about, who he is actually to me, what he means to me. So I continued my journey. <clears throat> In 2009, I attended my first IEA in, in June of 2009. And <clears throat> initial transformation was profound at that time, nothing compared to this time around, of course. And then ever since, I on my own realized who he, is, he, who he, who he was to me. It has varied from a guru, an incredible teacher, a mentor, Sometimes a yeah, family counselor, a yeah, marriage counselor, <laughs> and, and recently a yeah, teenage crisis counselor as well. So, <clears throat> and that's what it was. Uh, all those was to me at that time, experientially. And then here I am in this inner awakening, right? And he put me through this process where I finally, finally, finally came to know who I really am. Um, in that process, he had to cut through layers and tons of incompletions, patterns, ego, stubbornness, and all that to, to wade through all that to make me realize who I am. And then I had the final characterization of him, which is a miracle maker. That's who he is. If he can change me after all that process, that's what he is. And then that final realization actually made me to cognize and internalize everything that I heard about him, from everything that other people have talked about him and everything that I have realized about him as well. So today, here we are in the graduation. I know I'm going to leave this graduation with the fullest understanding and confidence that whenever I'm in trouble in my life in the future, whenever I am in incompletion or trouble, I can, I can invoke at will, my, within my consciousness, the character that I want him to be. And I know he will be there. I know he will be there. And I'll be just fine. In fact, I'll be more than fine. I'll be thriving in my life. Swamiji, thank you.